I'm gonna talk to you about markets that you probably need to focus on is gonna be mainly major markets so if you head over to what I'm gonna do is head over to Google Docs right quick and what you want to do is you want to focus on markets that's not gonna be like small markets you want to focus on markets that's gonna be like okay let's say we're targeting uh, Walmart customers TikTok, uh, Costco customers uh, Sam's Club customers uh, AT&T customers like not just small markets but you want to target like okay everyone that have a Verizon phone all right everyone that has an AT&T phone everyone that has a boost mobile phone so you want to focus on markets that's going to be actually broad you don't want to focus on minor markets if you focus on markets that's actually broad then what happens is we can narrow down into specific markets a little bit more easier rather than targeting just something random and not actually hitting for anything but if I target let's say uh, a million a uh, hundred million adamant uh, buyers that I know is going to be under Verizon Wireless then I can say that's adamant buyers I already know exactly who those buyers is if I target let's say clients that's going to be impulsive buyers then I automatically know those people are going to be impulsive people those aren't going to be people that's going to be like adamant so there's going to be a huge difference between your adamants and your impulsives so if I target boost mobile or people that's on cricket or something then those people are going to automatically be buying impulsively so that's the only thing that I'm going to be targeting so for the offers that we promote we're going to mainly focus on impulsive people because they're going to be the ones that's taking action fast your adamant buyers are going to be people that actually last long term so with those that's when we actually target higher ticket items such as anything above a hundred dollars and above so it could be a thousand dollar two thousand three thousand dollar item that's when we target your adamant people and how I do that is I don't target specifically let's say oh what niche they're in I want to target what they have I want to target exactly something they're using on a daily basis so that's why I choose certain brands and certain things to target by rather than trying to target hey I just want this don't think about it's called intip it's called basically you're predicting exactly what the client is going to want before they actually jump to what they're wanting so what if a person is going to search for a key term then I will look for another key term to actually target that customer by so someone it's like a derivative so you have you have your main business and then you have derivatives like for instance um, peanut butter is a derivative of jelly uh, bread is the derivative of hot dogs you know so target those things those derivatives that's how we get our winning campaigns that's how we grow that way all right so that's what I'm gonna break down in the ad for you and we're gonna set this up right now all right I'll see you in the next video